Welcome to Ollie's Garage. Today I'm replacing the speedometer cable in my 1984 Rabbit convertible. After 30 years, the lubrication of these cables break down and then they just don't spin that well anymore. And I noticed it when I was driving when it was cold outside and I got this weird buzzing sound coming from the dash and it wasn't the cable. And sometimes it's also just nice to get some new parts on your vehicle. When you replace this, make sure that you also replace this rubber gasket as well. The tools and parts required for this repair are listed right here. As always, Links and part numbers are in the description below. For this procedure, you will have to remove the instrument cluster, and I've got a video on how to do that linked below. To give yourself more room, you can remove this gasket and also this rain tray right here. I actually don't even have mine installed right now, so I'm just gonna lift this out. These are extremely brittle, and there's actually a replacement for them, so I'll be filming me installing a replacement here soon. All right, if you look here, you can see the speedometer cable. I actually have the two-piece cable, which goes to this little box right here. All that this box does is every 30,000 miles, it would make the OSX light come on in your dash. And that's because with these fuel-injected systems, you now have an oxygen sensor, and I don't think people were really used to having to replace that regularly, so they made this so that the light would come in the dash. I don't need this box, I just know that I need to replace my sensor, and this is a very common delete, is to take out this box and then convert to a one-piece cable. If you have a one-piece cable, you don't have this box, but we still have to get it out from this rain tray right here. So, I will unplug the connector. And then we have this cable here, unscrew it here. And carefully pull it out, and we do the exact same on the inside. And then I just pull the box out. You might need a set of pliers to crack these loose. This is up close view of the box. Every 30,000 miles, the OSX light would come on, as you can see right here. And then you can actually push this button right here to reset it. Like I said, I'm getting rid of this. I don't need this. If you park your car normally in first gear, as you can see, the shifter arm right here is kind of almost in the way here. So what we're gonna do is just shift it into fourth gear or something like that, and that moves it as far out of the way as we can get it. As you can see, there's a ton of dirt and debris down here, and we wanna clean some of that away before we undo that screw and pull the cable out so that it doesn't fall into the transmission. For that, it's easiest just to use some compressed air. After you've cleaned away as much dirt and debris as you can, grab yourself an 11 millimeter socket. This is one of the few 11 millimeter nuts on this vehicle, and as many extensions as you have, and then crack it loose. If you drop it on the floor now, that's no problem. We just don't want to drop it in the transmission. That was now the easy part. The hard part is getting this cable out. There's a chance that it'll be stuck. It might actually slid out extremely easily. If yours doesn't, carefully pull on it and pry on it. Just be careful. We don't want to put any dirt in the transmission. And the other thing is, you don't want to accidentally pry the drive gear off. This isn't too common, but if the drive gear does fall into the transmission, it's a huge pain to get out and you really do have to get it out. Now that we have the cable out, we can inspect it. You can see that the sheathing was already cracking, the gasket here was missing, and it just needs replaced. Continue removal of the speedometer cable by pulling it out of the firewall right here. Once you pop the grommet out, you can just remove the cable. I do have these wires right here. You won't have those there. I just had these so that I could power my fog lights. Here we're inside the vehicle. These are the same wires you saw outside for my fog lights. Just carefully push the cable out. Here's my old cable and here's the new one. As you can tell, the new one did not come with the little circlip or the speedometer drive gear. You have to purchase those separately. I have them coming in the mail, but I wanna drive this car again before they arrive. Quick discussion on speedometer drive gears. There's three types. You have a white one, a red one, and a green one. The difference is the amount of teeth that they have in here, which changes how fast the cable spins, changing your speedometer. So just reinstall the same color gear that you had in your vehicle. If you were deciding to reuse it, that's fine too. Like I said, I have one coming in the mail, it's just not here yet. If you're reusing the gear, you can pry it off. Just pull on it. And then you can also remove this little circlip right here. Carefully lever it off with a screwdriver. I've got my new speedometer cable here. Grab the circlip and slide it over this right here. Takes a little bit of effort.
With the clip installed, turn it so that this little gap that's cut in here is facing towards the ground. Grab the cable, and then this hole needs to be 180 degrees opposite of the gap in the circlet. And then take it and then just kind of carefully wiggle it on. You know that the gear is slid on all the way when you can see the circlip through this little hole right here. Grab your new gasket and slide it on oriented so that this nub is facing towards the transmission. Make sure you give everything here good cleaning. Be careful that you don't wipe any dirt into the transmission. Take your speedo cable and slowly slide it back down into the hole. And then get the screw hole aligned as well, just like that. Install the 11 millimeter screw and make it hand tight. It's vital to make sure that you screw this screw in by hand or with my extensions here as I'm doing this because you don't want to get it crooked in the transmission. It is an aluminum bell housing and you will easily cross thread this screw. Once you have the bolt hand tight, torque it to 10 Newton meters or 87 inch pounds. Before I install this cable, I will grease it a little bit with some silicone grease because I know that these grommets aren't in the exact correct spot. Grease the grommets as well with some silicone grease so that they are able to be easily installed into the firewall and rain tray. I find this silicone dielectric grease is a very universal lubricant. If you had the oxygen counter box, you need to remove this rubber grommet. There's a washer inside and then you just use a screwdriver. Grab your cable, slide it through the hole and then continue sliding it through the hole right here. Your first grommet goes all the way through. Install the second grommet. There we go. And then install the one into the firewall. All right, time to move inside the vehicle. You can see the new speedometer cable right here. We're actually going to push it back into the engine bay a little bit. We don't need that much. Grab your instrument cluster. Slide it into place. Now you can reach around back and connect the speedometer cable. Before you do that, make sure that these two screws are not installed. Otherwise you will break your heater controls. You'll break it off right here and we do not want that. Mine are loose, reach around back. Sometimes it helps if you lower the instrument cluster. Sometimes you have to turn the cable a little bit. Try a few times, but it'll work. Now you can finish putting everything back together as I have described in the video linked below. Thanks for watching another episode of Ollie's Garage. Please like, subscribe, and comment for more.